before this video starts, I just want to say that I probably went a little bit too in depth in this video. Like, uh, it's just a game, guys. Don't, please don't be like me. Hey, tell me, baby, have you ever seen a team? Got you scream, cruising in that form, tripping red, like it's bleed. Smash bitch up on me, and she tied it like she lead. Okay. Run me like a hearty on your favorite two seed. Okay. Shot my life up on the ground, like fuck it, I don't need it. Dunno. What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Sly Kage. Before this video even starts, I just want to let you guys know come on, your boy's at 910 subscribers. Like, we're 90 away from a thousand. That's it, dude. 90. My videos are averaging up to like 200 views a day. That means that if 90 of you that aren't subscribed, just hit that subscribe button. We could be at freaking a thousand in a day. Anyways, anyways so let's get on with the video. Alright, so with many changes coming to Demon Slayer, I, I do understand that you demons are not getting the love that you want to be shown. And I get that. Not many people want to go demon, you know? They want Slayer, they want Pillar, because there's not much to do as a demon quite yet. But like, like I, I want to make a little video. I want to make a little combo guide for you for you demon mains, right? So, uh, um, I'm using an account that, uh, given to me by a friend actually so thank you for that uh i would i i, I don't really want to find you but i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna show you guys how to use the arrow in conjunction with your combat so first of all i want to introduce the basic demon combat to you guys all right you get a one two three four one two three i mean okay so you start off with one two three one two three then you do a little side kick and then it's one two and then you do a roundhouse kick and that's the basic combo. One, two, three, psychic. One, two, roundhouse. Now these are very useful because if you check out the roundhouse, you can do the same thing that you can do with this. One, two, three. One, two, two, roundhouse plus control. Sets you back in the running animation. As you guys can see, when you get out of it, you're slowly walking. But if you do it and then you simultaneously click control, you're back in the running animation, which makes you catching your prey much easier. So, if you see any lack in Demon Slayers, you already, you already know what to do. Hmm, alright, so, next I want to show you guys a little trick I know from, I did it in my water breathing video too, so, uh, right click, plus control, put you back in the, uh, put you back in the writing animation. It, it's just, it's just very useful, way more useful than you think it is. So now I'm going to show you guys some combos you can do with Demon Army. So, you, you may think that it's important to aim with your mouse. Like look, look, look at this. This is me shooting an arrow with just no, no shift lock, just my mouse button. It's so precise. This is me with my shift button. It goes in the general direction, but it's just wherever my where, wherever my lock is. It's just it's not the same. It's just focused in the center of the screen. But I'm gonna show you guys how to make this work. You can easily shift from the shift lock in order to aim perfectly. So let's say your target is over there. Boom. Wait, wait, boom, bam, and then you're back in the mode instantly. But let's see, you're gonna get a quick combo off. The best way to fight as a demon with R right now, I'm telling you guys, this is the best way, hands down, is to keep Shift Lock activated. Shift Lock is your best friend. Shift Lock is going to be your best friend for a very long time. So I'm gonna show you guys two combos. I'll go. One, two, three, arrow. And that's without Shift Lock. But I'm, look at that. You guys see how it went into the floor? That's not what we want. One, two, three, arrow, right in front of you, right and precise. If anybody's near you, he is going to get hit. Then let's do the roundhouse kick. One, two, bam, he's down. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a way that, no, we're moving past the combo part. I'm gonna show you guys a way the demon art can be useful with the right click. So you guys know how, how well the, um, the Z move flings. Let's pretend this, this uh, tree is my enemy, all right? Z, then the alt. The, the key, the key is to remember that your enemy always lands somewhere towards the back end of the map, meaning he's always gonna go in either this direction or this direction. I don't remember exactly, but the best thing to do is jump and then like prepare pre pre fire or right click because you'll easily have a chance to stun the enemy. And once you do that, it's it's basically two left click combos for uh, a demon and your your enemy's dead. So, very useful to remember your demon art. Always send your enemy to the right. So, if I shot him from over here, it'd go right over here. And then you can easily jump up, pre fire, right click, and stun. Alright, moving on to right click. 
I'm gonna show you guys how this can be useful. So like I just said, if you pre-fire right click attacks and then follow up with a one, two, three, four, then shift lock Z, that's a full combo and he's already down to red health. All right, so moving on, I wanna show you guys how efficient the X move can be. So let's check this out. So it shoots out a beam that you can fully control. It's awesome how much you can control this and that lasts about six or seven seconds. Uh, let's see this cooldown. So, oh my. Okay, it, it, it apparently moment, has no cooldown. He fucked up. And it's it's a very useful move. I'm going to try using it again. I think, oh, no, no cooldown. It's very useful because it can curve around anything as uh, you guys just saw me curve it with the tree. Let me do it one more time. And this curving ability is very useful because I want to show you guys something that I like to do personally. So I want to show you guys two different things. First of all, if you stop your mouse while you use it and bring it back, this happens. This effect is called an interlooping effect. And it basically creates an area that's literally unbreachable by anybody. Meaning if you stop your mouse exactly where this tree is, for example, like that, nothing in that area, in this red area, is getting out. So it's basically like an impregnable freaking cage of death. Um, I'm just going to show you guys a little circle. It's it's pretty simple. Any Anything in will get flung, give, leave, leaving you wide open. So I um, hope this tutorial was able to help. Like I said, we're only 90 subscribers away from 1,000. I'm going to get another one of these out really soon. I have another video planned. I have it recorded. I just don't want to edit it because I'm lazy.